What is the deepest thinking that is holding you back? I mean the deepest paradigms that are limiting you. It's like a vein of thinking that keeps repeating itself. A frustration that keeps recurring or a feeling in the body of edginess that seems to just recur. It's the 4th of Jan, I've noticed it recently myself that I'm living in a repeating vein of thinking. It's all sort of jumbled together. It's very deep conditioning. And it's a mix of things. It's, I need to make money. I need to have enough. I need to keep working so that I have enough. I need to do well. I need to keep up with others. I need to be perceived to be doing well. I want to be loved. I want to be wanted and to be valued. I want to get likes. I want to feel part of community. So all of that gets jumbled together. And when I have those things, when I have enough, when I get praise, when I do well, I feel good. But when these criteria aren't satisfied, I feel edgy. And the edginess is uncomfortable. It shows up at various points if I if I read somebody else's post on LinkedIn or Facebook or I have a thought about something or something doesn't go well, the edginess pops up and it's uncomfortable. And because it's uncomfortable, it propels me to get busy, to work hard so that I don't feel this discomfort. And this year, I've had enough of this feeling. I've had enough of this negative driver. I've been observing it. And I realize it's a trap. It's a trap that many people live their whole lives in to avoid this uncomfortable feeling. I've got to run, I've got to achieve, I've got to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I see it as part of the illusion and I don't want it to dictate my life anymore. You could, of course, see this as normal. But I don't, I see that it doesn't need to be this way. And so as I explore evolving as a person, I see that there's a way of living free from this. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to achieve. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to set goals. It doesn't mean any of that. But I'm not going to do it from this place of uh, running from the edginess. So what am I going to do? Step one, I'm going to sit with the feeling when it arises. I'm going to observe it as a feeling in my body just as a feeling, as a sensation, without being immersed in the story that I attach to the feeling. The feeling is simply a trigger that developed in childhood or early adulthood. So I'm going to sit with the feeling. Step number two, I'm going to breathe and be present. Step number three, I'm going to go inside and be guided by the life I know I want, the way of doing and being I want, not not this feeling. Be guided by my inner knowing. Keep checking that that is what is where I'm coming from. from this inner calling rather from this avoidance of this feeling. So my commitment to you, really my commitment to myself is that 
I, I'm really going to play with this big time. The noise of the story may carry on. Sorry, what do I mean? I mean, the noise in the mind may carry on. The, the feeling may continue to exist, but I'm going to stop it and I'm going to see something differently. And I'm going to focus on following my own inner path. So watch this space. And I'm curious to know if this resonates for you. What is the feeling? What are you running away from? What suffering are you running from?